Buddy Car Ride Vlogmas, day 13. I'm so excited because we're more than halfway done with Vlogmas and it has been quite an adventure. And I am hitting, you know, it's kind of like the slump because there's not a whole lot left to do for Vlogmas. Um, we have just a couple weeks to go and then it's Christmas and then I can call it a wrap. And and pat myself on the back for actually completing it. I'm super proud that I have made it this far. <laughs> I really am proud of myself for that. Um, and I wanna thank you guys for sticking with me because I know it hasn't been the most riveting, but you have been there for all of it and I'm so happy. I'm so blessed. I have the best subscribers in the whole world. I love my community. I love it. Um, so today I will insert a little footage that I got right after work. I had to stop and drop off a bag, a gift bag and tissue paper to my son Andrew. He needed something for um, his gift exchange. He's leaving to go to Tennessee on Friday. He's flying out and because he has to go through security, I suggested not wrapping his gift for his gift exchange with his friends, but rather taking the gift bag and tissue paper. That way, if there's any mishaps during security, you know, we avoid that or he avoids that. So. I dropped that off and while I was there I got a little bit of footage of his um, his cat go and his cat he, it's a kitten he is a baby baby kitten and man do his claws and teeth feel like razors Ugh, I'll be <gasps> look at you go go look at you go hi okay let's not bite I know that you're probably teething but let's not do that. I love you. I love you, big boy. I love you, big boy. Glad when those start to dull down a little bit, and they will. He's just a kitten, so everything's sharp and new, so it'll get better. And he's very playful, super cute. I love, and he's so soft, and he's very loving, but he's also very playful, and he will pounce on you pretty, pretty quick. He doesn't mean to hurt you, but oh, does he? So, today was just an extra busy day. Um, I wanted to stop at um, my favorite, it's not a, it, it's a thrift, consignment, antique mall kind of store. And I wanted to stop there and show you guys, but they close at 5 o'clock. Um, so, I just didn't make it in time today to make it worthwhile. I mean, I would have gotten there before they closed, but it wouldn't have been enough time to actually go through the large store and show you everything. So I'm going to do that tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog, and that will be super exciting. You're going to love it. And then I'm also going to be filming tomorrow as part of my Vlogmas video. Um, some YouTubers are participating in a gift exchange, and I will be posting my portion of that tomorrow um, in my vlog and shouting out the person that I did the gift exchange with. So stay tuned for all of that tomorrow. That'll be exciting. Now today, I'm not feeling the advent calendars. <laughs> I'm not feeling anything. I want to go home. I want to pop out my pajamas on and I just want to sit in front of the TV and watch TV and not even think about anything. I'm exhausted. So, um, I'm going to, this is going to be your chatty car ride vlogmas day 13 in a nutshell. We will double up on advents tomorrow, um, because I want to post this early so that I don't have to worry about it today. I really just want to get, um, I just really want to decompress if that's, you know, if I'm sure you guys can understand that. I just want to decompress in a minute. Um, and not have to worry about getting you know, getting more content back out to you guys. We don't get a chance to do our advent calendars until we're home and we're both home and everything and, and that usually tends to be around 6, 6.30ish. So I don't get to post my vlog video, my vlogmas video until after 6, 6.30. So I just wanna get it done earlier tonight. Um, so we will double up on the um, advents tomorrow. I will say that next year we are buying different um, advent calendars. Art and I have already discussed this. It is difficult opening these and we're not exactly thrilled with them, to be very honest. Um, they're not bad. They are not bad. 
I got mine for $15 and it's really not that bad. I do like a lot of the scents. I love the bubble baths and all that that's come in it. However, it's, it's, it's been interesting. I'll leave it at that. Um, and then arts, I paid $50 for that. And I don't think that's really all that bad. And I do think a lot of the products in there are going to be really good products for him. Um, but I, but I also don't think that it's something that he will get a whole lot of use out of. I think what he would enjoy more are some of the advents that are typically in, um, I found out about these advents, not the ones I have currently, but the ones that we want to buy from Christopher Allen's channel. So we will be getting the Dolly Parton advent calendar for 2020. Um, I guess it would be the 2023 advent calendar and then we'll get the 2023 sugar fina and we'll get the 2023 um what's the other one sugar fina dolly pardon i want to i want to oh sax fifth avenue i really like that one so we'll get the sax fifth avenue one and i think i will pick up either a um anthropology or Maybe one that's, I can't remember the name of it, but it's candles. So we might do that one. But those are the ones that we will get for next year. They are easier to open. Um, and they're more useful products that we'll actually use. Art will love the Dolly Parton and Sugarfina because it's food. And so those are for art. <laughs> and then I will love the Saks Fifth Avenue and the Anthropology. But I do think that Art will also enjoy Saks Fifth Avenue because they have put some really good products in theirs this year and um, we both try to take care of our skin even though Art makes jokes about it he does he tries to take care of his skin he does not look his age I mean both of us I think for our age looks pretty good but um, and our skin is pretty good but in any case that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna go ahead and upload this and call it a day and we will do um, a really good, we'll do an extra good job on a vlog for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a lot more, there will be a lot more content tomorrow than there was today. Um, and I know you guys will be patient and understanding. You guys are, I have the best community in the entire world of YouTube. And I don't, I don't have a channel. I have a community. That's what I'm striving for. I don't want a channel. I, I want a community that's that's my goal and um, and I'm content with each and every single one of you I love having the ability to connect with each of each and every one of you and right now I fluctuate on the daily between 358 and th 360 somewhere in there is what my community number is and when I'm saying community, I mean the m amount of people that are subscribed to my channel. I don't like calling you sub subscribers. I like calling you my community. Um, so I have this wonderful, you know, I have a good, strong little community. And if all 360 of you um, commented, I would be able logistically to comment back. And that's what I like about it. Um, so I, I am content. now. There may be, you know, if there ever came a day where I was blessed to have thousands of you that follow, that that um, are part of the community, I would be completely overwhelmed and blessed in a good way. Um, and I would try my best to comment back to each and every single one of you that did. And I bet you I could. <laughs> um, but it, for me, the bottom line, the, the bottom line, it's not about how many are in my community. It's about how engaging and therapeutic my community is to each other. You know what I'm saying? I hope that each of you kind of read each other's comments when you comment. Maybe you guys can get to know each other as well. I can be that connecting piece. Um, I think a lot of people that watch me are people that... Um, you know, they're watching for a reason. You know, if I'd love to know why you watch. Why are you part of my community? <laughs> Let me know. 
What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? What do you want to see? What don't you want to see? You know, I'm an open book, you guys. Share with me whatever you want to share with me. Um, don't forget, I do have an email address that's in my description box um, always, and it's in my About Me on the page. Um, and you can always reach out to me through email if you don't want to put something in the comments. You can also reach out to me if you have Instagram or if you have Facebook. You can reach out to me on either of those platforms. I have um, a curated, uh, an Instagram designated to just the curated home and I also have a Facebook that is just allocated to the curated home. And um, you are more than welcome to reach out to me on either of those platforms by messaging me on there. I will definitely see it and get back to you. Um, but like I said, it's a community and I love each and every one of you and appreciate each and every one of you. I am home, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go in and see Maggie. I'm gonna get this uploaded and call it a day. And I hope you guys have had a wonderful day. And until next time, which will be tomorrow, we'll do it all again. I'll see you then. Bye.